OK, here we go. Adam, listen. While most ten-year-olds are tucking into their cereal, Ben Inman is tucking into Chilcot's bleak midwinter. And watch. <laughs> Five feet, one. Morning rehearsals start at eight o'clock sharp. It, yes, it, it's a long day, but you know, they're astonishingly remarkable. Um, it's the parents who blanch when they first look at the timetable, not the boys. The boys just say, oh, we have to be there at eight, do we? Oh, yeah. Oh, and we finish at 6.30. Oh, well, that's fine. Next up, there's just time to squeeze in a full day of school. New Christmas cards. Yeah. Is it too late to send them tomorrow? <coughs> there are three different year groups in Ben's class, all hand-picked choristers and instrumentalists. It's the perfect environment to mull over the pros and cons of choir singing. Some people would regret it a bit because um, it do, you do tend to find um, that it's a bit more hard than you think. Whereas you think you'll be just singing like one day a week, but then you find out that it's quite a bit, but it's still very good. After school, there's time for a bit of refueling. This is when Ben's mum turns up to collect his little brother and to remember what Ben looks like. We see plenty of him in the holidays and uh, weekends, but he's busy with his music, and his music is his life, and that's what he likes to do. I near thee say, touch the Lord shall not see. The second rehearsal of the day takes us through to the evening's church service, which takes place in the Minster. This finishes at around 6.30, but the night is still young. There's 90... Um, 92 pages that we've got to practice. Eight o'clock and finally it's home time. But today hasn't been an entirely typical day for Ben. He's been told off. Um, I said my tooth's come out and the teacher went shh, shh. Don't disturb everyone. Thankfully a lost tooth here and there doesn't affect the performance of the Subtle Minster Choir.